Well, they don't start as celebrities, but social media is making a star out of people who get paid to pitch products. We're talking about influencers, and tonight Kate Merrill introduces us to two Boston influencers making a name for themselves by capitalizing on their hobbies. Yeah, put my hand in there. Eating at the hottest restaurants in Boston hardly seems like work. And when Brittany DiCapua first started the Boston Food Journal, it wasn't. At the beginning, it was just to showcase to my friends and my family where I'm going, what I'm doing. But hundreds started following the Southern Maine Native's Boston food adventures. Local restaurants and major brands started to notice and began paying her to promote their businesses. It can be very profitable. There's a lot, a lot of people out there trying to be influencers. According to Emerson College marketing professor David Gersoff Richard, anyone can try it, but few are successful. It's, it's almost like, what is it asking a comedian? What does it take to be a really good comedian, right? There's, there's lots of comedians out there. And you wouldn't eat broccoli. If but there's only like a few Seinfelds. When it comes to fashion, Ashley DeMello is Boston's Seinfeld of style. The Australian native who now calls Boston home has 121,000 followers who watch her put together outfits that won't break the bank. So this top is from Express. These jeans are my favorite find. They are from Primark and they cost me $17. And those brands are hoping she influences her followers to buy their clothes. But there's a change coming that could have an impact on this industry that some estimate could hit $20 billion next year. You can still like a photo by pressing the heart icon, but last week Instagram started hiding the total number of likes for some of its users so only the poster can see them. My likes actually disappeared from my Instagram account last night. The head of Instagram told CBS News the idea is to eliminate the competitive nature of the platform. You lose a bit of transparency, I think, in the, on the platform, but I'm, I'm interested anyway to see how, what will happen. Whatever happens, Ashley and Brittany vow to continue to share their passion for food and fashion. And while they love the work, they say it's not all donuts and dress up. It's very hard work. I do think that anyone can be it, but I do agree with that you've got to really work hard at it um, and be passionate about it too. Kate Merrill, WBZ News.